Hello, everyone. My name is Mo Zulfikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot with an exciting income idea. But before I go into any details, I want to let you know that anything you hear in this video is for information and educational purposes only. Investing comes with risk. No matter how safe an investment sounds, there are risks involved. To read more about it, please see the description below. Inflation may be starting to cool, but that's no reason to give up on looking for reliable ultra-high dividends to supplement your income. Better still, keep an eye out for stocks like today's income pick, CVR Partners LP, traded on New York Stock Exchange and their symbol UAN. It's a company with reliable dividend that also have a market crushing stock. John? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, CVR Partners LP is America's only petroleum coke based nitrogen fertilizer producer. It's a limited partnership formed by CVR Energy Inc. to own, operate, and grow its nitrogen fertilizer business. Let's talk a little bit about what's the big deal about nitrogen fertilizer. Well, yeah, it's important to know, you know, the sort of company that you're investing in. Nitrogen fertilizer is critical to plant growth and reproduction. Soil often has nitrogen and other nutrients, but it doesn't always have enough to support healthy plant growth. Moreover, fertilizers typically represent approximately 15% of a farmer's cost structure and significantly improves yield. Higher demand driven by lower ending corn stocks and increased corn prices combined with reduced fertilizer supply have all contributed to higher product pricing for nitrogen fertilizer. And there continues to be strong demand for corn in the U.S. In addition to corn on the cob, which we enjoy in the summertime, corn has a large number of additional uses, uh, including feed grains, ethanol for fuel, and food, seed, and uh, industrial purposes. For example, feed grains. 96% of domestic feed grains are supplied by corn. When it comes to ethanol, it consumes 37% of annual corn crop. And actually, corn production is typically driven more by yield than acres planted. Nitrogen fertilizer is also generally low on the cost curve for farmers. Yeah, the company's nitrogen fertilizer manufacturing facilities are located in the Corn Belt, and that includes Coffeyville, Kansas, and East Dubuque, Illinois. Uh, the Coffeyville Resources Nitrogen Fertilizer is a subsidiary of CVR and directly owns and operates the Coffeyville Nitrogen Fertilizer Plant. The plant is the only such operation in North America that uses petroleum coke gasification process to make hydrogen, which is a key ingredient in the manufacturing process. The East Dubuque Nitrogen Fertilizer is also a subsidiary of CVR. It directly owns the East Dubuque Nitrogen Fertilizer Plant, which uses natural gas as its feedstock produce uh, nitrogen fertilizer. And if I read that correctly, the company reported record Q1 production. Um, yeah, that, that is correct. In May, CVR announced first quarter sales inched up to 226 million from 223 million in the same period last year. Net income, it advanced 8.5% to 102 million or $9.64 per share. The first quarter EBITDA was up less than 1% at 124 million. Its fertilizer facilities produced a combined 224,000 tons of ammonia up roughly 20% from 187,000 tons in the first quarter of 2022. And these increases were due to operating reliability after completing plant turnarounds at both fertilizer facilities during the third quarter of 2022. Uh, looking ahead, management noticed, noted at the time that the spring pre-planting season was off to a robust start and that the U.S. Department of Agriculture estimated that planted Corn acres would increase approximately 4% during the spring, driving strong demand for nitrogen fertilizer. And how is it impacting, you know, the most important thing we talk about, dividends here? Well, when it comes to dividends, uh, CVR's goal is to distribute all of its available cash it generates each quarter. The company's cash, of course, will vary every quarter due to its operating performance, fluctuations in the prices received for its finished products, maintenance, capital expenditures, etc. But right now, though, CVR is in a distribution sweet spot. Uh, in the first quarter of 2023, earnings available both for distribution were up a whopping 362% at $110 million. This resulted in a first quarter distribution of $10.43 per unit or $32.75 on an annual basis. This is for a, a yield of, it's, it's, it's incredible, 41.37%. Now, during the quarter, the payout ratio was 88.01%. While that may sound high for some stocks, this isn't the case for a limited partnership like UAN, which legally has to distribute at least 90% of their annual taxable income to unit holders. Now, if you take a look at the company's stock chart, you'll notice that its distributions go up and down. But in the fourth quarter of 2022, it declared a dividend of $10.50 per share. And that, so that's two big dividends in a row. 
and industry tailwinds suggest it will continue to pay a pretty frothy dividend in the back half of 2023. For example, year to date, CVR has already paid $20.93 per unit. That's more than the $19.32 per unit it paid out in all of 2022. And chances are, at this pace, uh, it will top the record $22.07 it paid out in 2012. Keep in mind, things are not always as good. It didn't pay out any distributions in 2020, and the payout in 2017 was just 20 cents per unit. And in the fourth quarter of 2022, it paid out $1.77 per unit and $10.05 per unit in the third quarter of 2022. So it goes up and down. What this means? It just means shareholders need to pay, keep, uh, pay attention to what's going on with, with fertilizer prices and the industry in general. And they can get a handle on that by reading the company's quarterly results and listening to management uh, forecasts which is at the very least something shareholders should be doing with every company they invest in. The UAN stock is really beating the market. Tell me more. Uh, yeah, to be honest, most massive dividends are a result of lower share price. After all, dividend yields work conversely related to the share price. The higher the share price, the lower the payout. A drop in the share price, meanwhile, means that a higher dividend yield, which is what a lot of companies are you know, bragging about right now, which doesn't make sense because your share price is tanking. In this case, though, CVR Partners LP stock is kicking the broader market. It's up 10% over the last month, 5.2% year to date, and it's actually up 28% year over year. John, thank you so much for such great insights. Fertilizer might stink, but it can also generate a lot of sweet money. At least that's the case with CVR Partners LP. The Sugarland, Texas-based company continues to be a great agriculture company that is doing everything right. It reported solid revenue and earnings growth, which is helping fuel strong quarterly distribution. And thanks to positive industry trends, the near-term outlook remains solid for both UN, UAN stock and its inflation-crushing dividend. That's it for today. We'll be back with another video soon. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.